hello everyone in this video we are going to see how to get a response from external or third party api using google app script so i'm just going to uh, drive at google.com and i'm opening a new google sheet from my drive so if you are a, a beginner in google app script i have created a set of uh, tutorial videos uh, so that you can watch and make use of that so this sheet is loaded let name this sheet let us name this sheet as um, mm, exercise exercise 1.0 so i'm opening a script editor from this excel sheet i'm going to tools and script editor this will open script editor in a new tab let me explain the api which we are going to uh, look into it so this is an api that we are going to use up this is uh, fixer.io the purpose of this api is to uh, return the foreign exchange rates in different uh, base for example if you want to get the value of usd in terms of uh, gbp or your country currency we can do that using this api <coughs> so i'm going to pick this one so if you see this uh, uh i'm just copying it and put it in a new tab so this return and json format so this is a json format and uh, this this will not look like this because uh, i have installed an extension chrome extension json format uh, in your screen it will look like this so this is not necessary for google app script uh, just to increase the readability i will install this uh, extension and so this is what we are going to get i'm going to fetch the inr value i'm from india so i'm going to get this one 63.92 by taking us dollar as a base let's see how to do that i have opened a new project let's name this project as project one so this contain a default function called my function so now we are going to pass this url as a variable in this uh, function let's say variable url so if you see this i have created a variable url and i stored this api url in this variable next one is i'm going to get a response from this url so if an api hit this url it will give this set of text as a response in return so i'm creating another variable called the response so in order to get the text i have to use a method url fetch app dot fetch i have to fetch the url this url so if you see that uh, this url fetch app dot fetch contain accept one parameter and we have to pass this url as a parameter to this uh, url fetch app so this will get a response this variable contain response returned by this api and next we are going to declare another variable called json so using this variable i am going to convert the response in a text format so i have to use this variable and i have to convert this in a text format get context text i have to use a method get context text to get the response in a text format <coughs> now everything is done so if you look into this uh, json it will contain a string that string contain all these values but what i want is i want to get only this value inr value the 63.932 so this is what i want to get so in order to get that i need to parse this json we are going to parse this json using a parse method so i want a data so we have to use a json dot pass and in this parameter we have to pass 
this context text that we got from the API. So now this variable this variable data pass this JSON and store it in uh, store it in the variable called data. So now what I want is I want only this one <coughs> INR value. So if I want to get this INR value I have to go through from top to INR. So let's uh, watch out this. So I have I, I have declared a variable data here. So because uh, this data contain entire text of this uh, uh, API response. So I have to use this data and then I want rates. I want to go inside the rates. So I'm just copying these rates and put it here. And inside that rates, I want the value of INR. So I'm copying that and put it here. So now I will get this INR value for one USD. <coughs> Let's execute. So when you are executing this for the very first time, it will ask for permission. So you just need to authorize that. After authorization, it will execute this function. So now you see the running function, it's running this function. This function has been run successfully. So I just want to see the output, go to view logs and here you can see this output 63.932. This water, this API return. So thank you for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any doubts and if you like this video, give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.